Here we go. So I was very lucky to be invited on the international global launch of the Indian FTR 1200 earlier this year in Los Angeles. Uh, it's near Hollywood, near the Muscle Beach and in the Santa Monica Mountains. And I think they already had mountains in the mind because they knew this bike is not going to do justice on straight roads. And uh, we had a display of the Indian 750 race replica as well but of course the indian which will be actually on sale uh, which is based on the ftr that is being raised is going to be a 1200 cc engine and does it pack a punch you might have already seen the riding shots but let's see some more What a better place than to launch a muscle bike like this than in front of Muscle Beach right here in a place called Venice in the USA. If you don't know what the Muscle Beach is, this is where uh, people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, they train themselves to become world champions. And this is why probably Indian Motorcycle had decided to give us a culture shock. Why I'm saying this is a culture shock, the FTR 1200, because we are actually used to seeing the iconic eye on big motorcycles which are chrome laden and meant for going straight lines into the sunset but this one actually hates straight lines it actually eats curves for breakfast lunch and dinner and i'll tell you like when i was riding this bike i was smiling grinning all the time under my helmet and this is very rare because i keep riding different kind of motorcycles i ride from boss horse but this one after a long time puts that joy inside me which was lacking you know it made me feel like a kid once more let's talk about specs now this one is uh, not exactly feather light but it does pump out 120 horsepower out of a 200 cc mill and a respectable amount of torque at 115 nm now that torque actually feels much more to me because it, it's it's actually you know tries to rip off your wrists out of your hand i mean literally it's, it's like so talky that, you know, it's, it's a really ready, uh, ready machine. If you've seen the material from Indian motorcycles, the, the you know, material they're using to promote this motorcycle, more often than not, they're actually using wheelie photos and videos. And this machine is actually doing wheelies all the way through the third gear. And I cannot say anything more, but we are waiting for this Indian to arrive in India. And let me tell you one more thing. This actually is a great machine for touring um, any sort of highway because it's ground clearance and it will also go to Ladakh, Spiti, where we want to take it just add a base plate and you don't need to worry about riding on a riverbed and probably change those tires. Talking about tires, the Dunlops have actually done a great job of keeping me on, on, the, on the tarmac and if you see the riding footage, we have not been exactly uh, slow today. So guys, 
Uh, one more thing, this is actually the race replica variant, which is uh, the highest variant available for this motorcycle. As you can see, this has also got the Akrapovic exhaust along with the race paint. And this one, the FTR-1200S, this has got an all-color TFT screen, which actually you can use with your gloves while you're riding. So it's actually better than most smartphones out there. I don't know why they don't make smartphones which you can actually use with your gloves on. Having said that, this bike is actually ready also to go on a racing track. Forget about flat track. We don't have too many flat tracks in India. I'm talking about racing tracks and go-karting track. It's bloody awesome. That is all I can say right now. And sure enough, three months down the line, I was the first customer for the FTR 1200 in India. And this is the event in which I was handed over the key. Hands together for Mr. Sandeep Gajar, who is owner and founder of XPHP. Sari, congratulations, Shivkamai. Congratulations to you. Sandeep, this is the key that you are going to hand over. Zona Tania for Sandeep, everyone. Come on, everybody. So here goes the first buy FTR 1200S. So Sandeep, we have heard that you have already ridden this bike in the US. We want to know about that experience from you. Good evening guys. Although none of us are really like bikers today, but trust me, I think we are still bikers at heart, right? Louder, right? Alright, so uh, this was one bike that after a very long time, it actually stirred a lot of things in my heart and I'm not joking. But this one is something for the racetrack, something to take off-road, something to do wheelies on, of course, in a private closed environment. You have to ride it to believe it, how cool this motorcycle is. I'm just in love with it. I, I can't wait to get the bike, the real bike, the smaller key would do. And this is amazing. Thank you so much Indian Motorcycle for letting me buy the first one. And I just can't wait to ride it. Wonderful. Thank you, Sandy. Wonderful. very very sure that this is going to be a phenomenal move. I am very excited. Uh, I have uh, four bikes now. I can have eight in the garage. And the very fact that this bike me wo sare advanced technologies hai. 4.3 inch uh, touch screen. You have ride mode. came from Ahmedabad to looking forward this FTR 1200S. I think Indian motorcycles really nailed it. They made a street bike and it's really cool. You know the best part that I like about the bike is a 4.3 inches touchscreen. And the best part about the touchscreen is you can operate it with your gloves on. I think it's a big revolution that Indian motorcycle has got into and it's, it's first time probably dabbled into uh, a street adventure bike which has tremendous amount of features. Uh, these are one of the most amazing bikes we have been looking forward to, to launch them in India and, in, and globally. Uh, there is no other bike like Indian uh, FTR in the market uh, because it's a different category in all together.
And this is me riding the Indian Chieftain in USA Death Valley in 2015. See you on the road somewhere, might be on the FDR in your rear view mirror.